I pity the foo who fried chicken. Well, of course I just left the hotel and now it's windy out when I go out to film again, so hopefully the audio in this isn't too bad. I'm gonna walk down, I'm gonna get some boba tea, uh, and I'm gonna check out the Chikan Tower. This is the outside of the God of War temple. So, old Taoist temple to Kratos. Uh, there's a little dirty homeless man right there on the corner. He said hello and waved at me with a big smile. So even the homeless people are friendly in Tainan. It's a cute little bubble tea place. Also, look at how big the keychain is for my door key for the hotel. Stupidest thing I've ever seen. But it's borderline a club in case anybody tries to like act a fool. Pop, pop. I was just standing and then all of a sudden, nope, oh, a little puppy down there. Hi, dog. Oh, oh, no. Anyway, got my boba tea, right? Cost 35 Taiwanese dollars. 35 Taiwanese dollars is the equivalent of uh, like a dollar and uh, I want to say 15 cents. For some reason, the boba tea is dirt cheap. It's probably maybe the boba, the bubbles are made with tire. I don't know. Okay. The Chikan Tower costs 50. For an adult, it's free for children under six. 50 Taiwanese dollars is like $1.75, $1.66 maybe. I guess you could just walk through. Probably didn't have to pay. Oh, maybe I did have to pay. Here's that for you. Well, they just took my temperature. So I've seen them do that to a few people, but sometimes they don't do it to me and I don't know if it's because I can't reach my head or what. But anyway, this is the Chikan Tower. It's an old Dutch fort originally. You can buy food for the fish. This tree is insane. No trampling by turtles. This is the original entrance. Built by the Dutch in 1653. Really doesn't go anywhere, huh? All right, so I guess down here is sort of the remains of the brick walls of the fort. And it, this is all rebuilt sort of construction. The building I just left and walked through is now a temple to the god Wu Chang, or Wun Chang, who is the god of education. This is kind of a cool plaque right here. Let's go see what's in this building.
These roof adornments are kind of cool. Like it looks like the fish is throwing up a thorny vine. I skipped going into the top of that one, so I'm gonna go back and check that out. There's also dragons on the roof. Kind of a weird doorway. All right, this is the top of the other tower. The first one I went into. Lord Quixing Pencil. He's supposed to donate because he's the, one of the gods of studying or something like that. And his pencil is said to give good luck on tests. So students will come up and do that. Cast the divination blocks until you get a yes answer with one block flat and the other block round. These are the divination blocks. I'm gonna cast them and see what he says. Two round sides. Nope. I guess I don't get a pencil. I'll never pass a test again. I hope I never have to take a test again. I'm doing it again because I don't take no for an answer. Smiling is the answer for that. I don't know what that means. But... Oh, that's a no. That's a smile. There we go. That's a yes, a flat and a round. Cool. Make a donation, get a pencil. I don't know how much to donate. I'm gonna give them, I don't know, 20 Taiwanese dollars. That sounds good, 66 cents for a pencil. It's a weird looking pencil. I don't even know if it's a mechanical one or what it is. You can see the graphite in the top. I don't know if it just like goes for that long and it's just a waste of plastic or what, but cool. And now I can pass my geometry exam. All right, that's probably gonna do it for the temple and for today. Kind of a cool little temple place. It's a shame most of the signs are in Chinese, so I didn't get to learn too much, but worth coming and checking out. And the entrance is cheap, as opposed to, I don't know, old forts and castles in Europe, which cost 10 or $15 to go to. A little bit of information here in English. Apparently that when in the 18th century, these kind of were in bad shape and they re-erected two of them, Temple of the Sea Gods and Temple of the Gods of Literature. So that makes a little bit more sense as to why this one had a whole bunch of stuff about boats in it and the other one had a whole bunch of stuff about studying. It said that there was two other towers that were here originally, which they didn't rebuild. Here's the homeless guy who waved at me earlier. Just chilling. How are you? Hey, how are you? Are you okay? Okay. Yeah? Here, man. There's 10 for you, buddy. Huh? Okay. All right. You have a good one, okay? Bye bye. Just gave him 33 cents. Seemed like a friendly enough guy. I think he was trying to sell candy or a bracelet. I don't know what he was doing, but. Foo fried chicken.